Hi, this is Brian, otherwise known as Construct. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart the base of the Your VR Motion Simulator. So there's eight screws. We have two here. Uh, they're quite small, so you need to undo those first. And then at each corner we have another two. And when you take this plate off, between the black plastic and the base of the Your VR, there's some metal shims that may fall out. So just make sure you don't lose those. We'll need those when we put it back together. So let me now actually show you in real time. I'm going to be undoing these two small screws. Uh, they're very small Phillips head screws. Uh, nothing special about them, quite easy to undo. Um, the, you do need to make sure the holes are lined up with the plastic when you're um, putting it back together. So there's going to be a little bit of pause here while I'm almost done. And there we go. So now on to one of the sides. These are a 3mm hex, so you can use those. There will be the hexes that came in the packet that you can use, or if you have a screwdriver or an Allen key, you'll be able to do it. Um, these can be a little bit tricky when putting back together. Uh, you just need to make sure the holes are all lined up between the plastic, the shim, and the base. Uh, but anyway, as we take these off, just hold the bracket, otherwise it's going to drop to the floor. Um, I have my yaw sitting up on the platform that I made out of the crate that the yaw came in. So it's a good use to recycle some of that wood. And here we go on to the one of the other sides. Exactly the same process. As you can see, this is almost real time except for the cut of me turning around. So it does not take very long to do this at all. And so if you're wondering why I'm using that crossbar, it's just to start turning it because there's not much leverage on this screwdriver. It just makes life a little bit easier. And there we go, almost out. I do need to get a better set of screwdrivers because <laughs> it is getting a bit frustrating having to use that crossbar all the time. All right, so I had a crack on my base here and your VR have sent me a replacement base. So I can, all I can do is recommend the your VR as the product's great. Uh, the company's doing the right thing by the users. And it really does make a big difference to the immersion in the game. Especially for flight sims, like I've, I've been playing Elite Dangerous in it uh, and I'm still very much a newbie commander, but it's a lot of fun. So here we go on the last uh, plate. And I'm switching side to side just so I'm not putting any undue force on any of the bolts. Alright, so now if we lift the base straight up, and you'll heard the plates dropped out of a couple, and you can see in the left just between the base and the bracket. Okay, so it's really solidly built. Um, we have four mil aluminium plate here, or aluminium if you're in the US, the base is solid aluminium. Uh, we have these crossbars, so it's all really, really strong and rigid. Under here we have a Raspberry Pi, uh, I think it's a four, and then we have some other control boards that look sort of off the shelf. And then over here, we have one of the power supplies. I assume that's for the motors primarily. And then under here, we have a smaller power supply, which I believe is for the LED strips around the base. Um, and then I found that on mine, these LED strips were cracked. And I let you all know at the same time as I did with the base, and they've sent me some replacement strips. Uh, I did tell them only two were broken, but they sent the whole set. 
And then so assembly is basically just reversing the disassembly, making sure to put these aluminium shims back in place between the base and the black plastic or whatever colour plastic you have. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Cheers.